Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows 10 version 22H2 feature update is expected to start rolling out any day soon. Now, as I have been posting, we can expect to see the feature update for Windows 10 roll out any time this month in October 2022. Now, um, as many of you will know by now, um, we are not going to be seeing any major new features roll out in version 22H2 of Windows 10. And it's just going to be an update using a small enablement package. Now, I did post a video, though, um, about two months ago that Windows 10 22H2 could be getting new features. And this was according to a confirmation um, by Microsoft that the upcoming Windows 10 feature update will have a scoped set of features. And Microsoft will share more details on this update later this year. Now, that was two months ago. And they ne when I posted that video, which, by the way, I'll leave a link to in the description in case that would be of interest. But Microsoft never gave us any more information about what a scoped set of features would be. And all they mentioned was they would provide um, details later on in the year. Now, we are two months or so down the line. And um, as mentioned, the feature update for Windows 10 is going to be rolling out um, this month sometime. And um, they have updated some recent documentation over on Microsoft Docs where um, it seems that um, they are, are planning to release an updated driver block list on Windows 10 version 22H2, which is enabled by default on Windows 11 version 22H2 um, under certain, uh, certain conditions. Now, in case you don't know what the vulnerable driver block list is, a very brief summary of that would be it's basically a feature that is part of uh, Microsoft Defender's application control and will help protect um, devices from malicious drivers. So it's basically just an extra layer of security. Now, if we head over to that documentation, which by the way, I will leave a link to in the description as it will just give you a little bit more information if you would be interested. If we head to this section, Microsoft Vulnerable Driver Blocklist, they say uh, with Windows 11, the 2022 update, that's the Windows feature update that rolled out last month. The vulnerable driver block list is enabled by default for all devices, um, as I did mention, and can be turned on or off using the Windows Security app. And then they give a whole lot of different conditions and um, when you can turn that, that feature on or off in Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, this is the important bit here. The block list is updated with each new major release of Windows. So each new major release of Windows, Windows 10 version 22H2 is a major release, although it won't have any major new features. Um, they say we plan to update the current block list for non-Windows 11 customers. So non-Windows 11 customers means, as an example, Windows 10. In an upcoming servicing release and will occasionally publish future updates through regular Windows servicing. So um, upcoming servicing release, um, that servicing release um, is Patch Tuesday this this month on the 11th of October, which is next week, Tuesday the 11th. So um, although not confirmed, um, we could expect, as I have posted previously, the feature update to start rolling out uh, next week, Tuesday. And if it doesn't, then that um, um, vulnerable driver block list, which is part of Windows 11 version 22H2, could be rolling out starting next week, Tuesday, or as they say, through regular Windows servicing, so that would be through the regular monthly cumulative updates. And um, when it does roll out to Windows 10 and possibly w um, before or even with the Windows 10 version 22H2 feature update, uh, it will be part of the Windows Security Microsoft Defender app as mentioned. And although it's not a major a new feature and um, it does give us an indication what Microsoft is calling a scoped set of features so we could expect to see uh, more of these kind of under the hood updates roll out for version 22h2 of Windows 10 and um, you know as Microsoft says a scoped set of features which just bring under the hood um, improvements to the operating system like the vulnerable driver block list which as I mentioned um, just gives you an extra layer of protection from malicious drivers being injected and inserted or installed onto your system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.